So yeah, I was working at the coffee shop, right? I would be I would be on the closing shift a lot. And one time I had my manager, my manager, let's let's call my manager Bethany. And we had, you guys can already know where this is going. And then we had this new guy named Ricardo, another fake name. He was, he was, he was like, you know, okay-ish looking dude, whatever. I don't give a shit. He was like the hot new worker. And my manager was like, oh my God. And we were working one night and like, well, this, this went on for a while. Like he was working with us for like a month or two. And you know, all the new, all the workers were like, oh my God, Ricardo's so cute. Oh my God. Oh, Ricardo. Look at, look at the new guy over there. Look at Ricardo. Like he was like, he was the fancy, you know, artsy boy. He like had like the bracelets and the black nail polish. And he always came in with like a really tight black t-shirt to like show off the stuffs. You know what I mean? I didn't care cause I never care. I, I bleh. but you know, all the girlies liked him. And one of the other girls, okay, they're my manager, Bethany. But then I had another coworker there. What should we name her? Angela, Angela. They both kind of liked him. So I would literally see for months that both of these two would shamelessly flirt with this poor first year, just like trying to do his job. Yeah. Angela and Bethany both liked Ricardo. So they would like ever so late, like, oh, Ricardo, um, can you help me open this can of coffee? I can't open it. Oh, Ricardo, you want to go with me to the school market really quick to go get something? Like that kind of stuff. Oh, Ricardo, um, I need help going to the bathroom. If the door is locked, can you come with me? Oh my God, like that stuff. And because of that, Bethany would always talk shit to me about Angela. She'd be like, oh my God, did you see how Angela was talking to him? Such a fucking whore. Like, like, doesn't she? I thought she had a boyfriend. I thought she had a boyfriend. Like this stuff. And I was like, bro, I don't know anything, okay? She's like, oh my God, like Angela, I'm not trying to be mean, but like Angela, she's not that pretty. Like her hair is really unruly. Like her clothes, ugh. Like you can tell she doesn't really care that much. I'm like, mm, okay, whatever. And then one night, me, Angela, my manager and Ricardo, we're all there because we had to do like stock stuff. So one of us had to stay. I like doing stocks. See, I'm a very, I like to be, you know, quiet and doing my work in the corner. So I got to be put on stocks and Ricardo and Angela were in the front and my manager was just, you know, there doing paperwork, or other stuff. So we were all there and it was like nighttime, nighttime. And then I remember Angela was like, oh my God, I have to leave. Cause I guess she has, her shift was ending. She was almost off the clock for her shift, but she didn't want to leave because she's like, oh my God, I don't want to leave Ricardo with her. And I was like, okay, well, um, your shift's gonna be over soon. Like, I don't, I don't know, bruh, I don't know. So she did, she had no choice but to leave because it was, it was, she was off the clock. She's like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna go. And then she went to Ricardo and gave him a hug. She's like, goodbye, Ricardo. Mm love you see you next time uh. so bethany was right there watching angela snuggle up to ricardo Ooh, and she was pissed i could just see her because you can tell because after you know she hugged him and then she turned to look at bethany and was like hmm, and then left and i was like y'all wild <laughs> <laughs> like y'all fucking crazy so angela left bethany was angry bethany was like this fucking bitch and yeah so we continued working because we were i think we were closing pretty close at that time so maybe like 20 30 minutes later we closed down you know we took the chairs inside we put everything away no longer taking orders but you know i was still doing stocks and sometimes when you work at places sometimes you do have to stay like an hour after closing depending on your hours or depending on your yeah just depending on your schedule so no one was in this beautiful co coffee shop other than me, Bethany, and Ricardo. And I remember Bethany being like, hey, Scarlett. I'm like, hey, yo, what's up? She's like, okay, um, can you finish cleaning up for me? Um, I have to go, I have to go do some paperwork in the back, okay? And I was like, oh, okay, sure, whatever. 
So I'm cleaning up the front. I'm going to the front. Just, you know, putting the coffee stuff away, putting the milks, whatever, syrups, cleaning up the counter, fixing the chairs, putting them up because then we have a guy. There's a guy that comes like in the morning and mops the ground. And then I noticed Ricardo was gone. And I was like, huh, Ricardo was supposed to be helping me. Hmm, whatever. Maybe he's in the bathroom on something. And then I hear silence. And then what do I hear in the corner? loud i'm not gonna imitate the sounds my i'm not gonna imitate the sounds bethany was making but you no it was not fapping she was getting her pipes filled and not the ones that were under the sink in the cafe the way bethany was making those noises sounded like she was a triple a, a freaking high list a list corn star and it was very loud there was banging i legit swear i heard like a blast break and like liquid shatter i don't know what happened i was like oh my fucking god i was like well, what do i do because i was hearing it and i was like oh so that's where fucking ricardo went you're supposed to be helping me put these syrups away dude then so what i did was i just put on my headphones and i kind of just worked because I don't want to hear it. And I'm not going to do anything. But like, what am I supposed to do? I'm not the manager. Also, I kind of don't give a shit that much. And it's none of my business. So I didn't care. Like, I'm a, mind, I'm a big mind your business person. And like I said, then it was like maybe a half hour in. Because it was already almost an hour since we closed. And it was already time to leave. And I was like, bro, can, can, I, can I just clock out and leave? So yeah, I, I, I noticed that there it wasn't really as loud and I noticed that it was a little quieter. So I was like, are they still here? Hello? G can I go now? And I was like, is it safe? Jesus. So I went, I went to the room and I knocked on the door and I was like, hello? And I heard nothing. And I was like, okay, so it was like the break room. So like my stuff was in there. Like, it was the break room, so I needed to get my bag so I could go, because I was just going to go. So I didn't hear anything, and so I just, I opened the door, and I see absolute disheveled. I see, she's not even on the table. Bitch is on the fucking ground, like, shirt off, bra off, and, like, her pants, like, in some other direction. And this dude was, like, at her... And, uh, um, th like, the dude, he had his pants on, but, um, his shirt was off, and, um, uh, yeah, and I was like, I'm gonna clock out, and she was like, okay, so I just turned to the right, grabbed my stuff, and just ran out, and then just clocked out, I'm like, okay, I'm going, goodbye, and then, then that was it. <laughs> Mwah! Mwah!